Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I get to say something now I have missed for two weeks. Let's say hello to our friend, Mr. John Baptiste. Hello, John. Hello. Got to get my old tuxedo pressed. <laughs> what, <laughs> what have you been doing? Did you do anything uh, fancy or fun over the two weeks we were off, or did you just hunker down? I, I hunkered down, and uh, I worked on my album, oh, and good. I read a lot of books, and I ate a lot. That's good. Those are, all, those are all good things. Human things. Things to stay human. Sure. Sure. So what's, what's, what's the music on your mind, John? I've been listening to um, uh, Lulu's Back in Town, actually. That's sure. what I was just listening to. Lulu's Back in Town. Yeah, yeah, Lulu is back in town. Well, and so are we. I'll see, I'll see you tomorrow night, John. I'll see you over there. Stay strong. You know, folks, the, the global pandemic, the justice system, and our schools aren't the only things being undergovernmented. Remember Trump's border wall? For those of you who've always thought, it's great, but I wish there was a stupider version, you're in luck because a group of Trump supporters decided to go around the federal government and raise $25 million online to help Trump's mission by building this three-mile stretch of wall. Unfortunately, according to engineers, the wall never should have been built so close to the river and is now showing signs of runoff erosion and is in danger of falling into the Rio Grande. You know, when a wall falls into a river, I think technically you've built a bridge. This DIY wall was the brainchild of private contractor Tommy Fisher, who said his wall would be the Lamborghini of walls. And he's got a point. When it falls down, it will be moving much faster than walls usually do. Funding for Fisher's wall came from a private online fundraising group called We Build the Wall. And oh no, oh no, they built their logo too close to the river. Well, when news of the breaking wall broke, Donald Trump was quick to condemn it, tweeting yesterday, I disagreed with doing this very small, tiny, section of wall in a tricky area by a private group which raised money by ads. It was only done to make me look bad. And per hispis, it now doesn't even work. Yes, per hispis, this was a secret plot. We built the walls board is loaded with typical deep state anti-Trumpers like Chris Kobach, Sheriff David Clark, and Steve Bannon. It makes sense. I mean, Steve Bannon himself is just a slowly collapsing structure. And oh no! Oh no, they built him too close to the river. At least the administration now knows this guy, Tommy Fisher, is a bumbling fraud which is why they've awarded him a $1.7 billion contract to build more walls. Hold on, this guy takes billions of dollars to do things he doesn't know how to, and it all ends in disaster? I think he might be son-in-law material. You know, Tiffany single, per hispis. We'll be right back with CBS Evening News anchor, Nora O'Donnell, per hispis.